Welcome to the World of Building Design channel. My name is Babak, your host, and this is Revit MEP, a sprinkler system design tutorial number five. In this tutorial, I would like to talk with you about the subject of view templates. And this is very important when you start a new project, and depending on the discipline that you, you need to work on, uh, you need to create a specific template for that type of project uh, where you want to customize uh, you know visibility and graphics and, and a number of other characteristic of your plan so uh, as you remember from previous tutorial we uh, we used the level one that we transferred to the sprinkler um, sprinkler um, browser uh, where we created a um, um, you know, a, a folder for the sprinklers in the left hand side, as you can see. And uh, initially, we started the project based on a mechanical uh, template. So everything was based on HVAC and uh, plumbing and, uh, you know, electrical. But we said that because we want to do a sprinkler system project, we need, we don't need any HVAC. So we try to uh, transfer everything into a sprinkler system a floor plan. So, as you can see, still we have a number of floors that are in the HVAC and uh, we don't want any of those to be there. So, um, as you remember, one of the things that we used to do was uh, use the sub-discipline to transfer those uh, from uh, HVAC to a different, to a different uh, you know, um, type or discipline that in our case is a sprinkler system design. Okay, so in terms of uh, in terms of the uh, view template, as you remember, one of the very uh, most important command in here is uh, visibility graphics, which uh, it stands for VG. You can use VG uh, by typing VG, and then uh, okay, let's type VG here. And when you, once you type VG, you don't need to enter. This box opens up where you can have your visibility or elements on your plan to be shown or not shown based on the check mark you put in here. Or uh, there are other categories, for example, other than model category, you have uh, annotation category. Uh, we can have a number of them checked marked or unchecked. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of this, but uh, there are different uh, tabs in here, um, like such as analytical model category or imported category if you have imported any CAD file or something like that, or you have a Revit link, you can go to this uh, command here by host view and you can make some changes to the, to the visibility in there. But uh, in general, this is the way you customize any specific template. So remember from the previous tutorial, we unchecked some of these elements because in the level one sprinkler system, we don't want to see any docked work or docked accessories, etc. That's why we unchecked many of those from here. So, or if you are in the annotation, there are some other elements you don't want to see. So, uh, but for now, I'm not going to make any change to that anymore, but what we want to do is that once we have this applied to level one, we want to right click on the level one and then press on this command called create view template from view. It means that you're creating a new template based on the current view that we just looked at in the, and it's already applied to level one. So I'm going to apply that and then because this is a project for a sprinkler system, I want to create a view template specific to a sprinkler system. So I just type here sprinkler plan. And then hit OK. Once I press OK, we see that the same visibility graphics or this view template box opens up where we have our sprinkler plan showing here as a new template that we just created. And if we press on the visibility graphic or VG override model here, that's basically where we, we can make all or 
other changes if we want to. And as you see, this is, uh, this is copied from the existing level one uh, view template. So it has all of those uh, things that we removed or we unchecked from this and we customized basically. So I'm going to go cancel. Another thing I don't want to see on the sprinkler plan is I just don't want to have a view range shown here. I'm going to just uncheck because uh, we don't want to see any, any view range in the, the sprinkler. It's not um, you know, something that goes between different levels so that we need to see. So I'm just going to uncheck that. And basically once I created that sprinkler plan and customized it here, then I press OK. And the other thing I want to do is I want to bring all of other levels into under a sprinkler uh, you know, category here. So remember that we had level two to level five or and roof, right? We want to bring all of them into, into that level. So I'm going to just uh, press on level two hold the control and then select all other levels. And then once I've done that, I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to find the discipline or sub-discipline. As you can see, the discipline is mechanical. I'm going to go and find the other information about the sub-discipline. select one of them let's select again a number of them yeah for some reason it doesn't select all at once so I'm going to select one at a time and then select the sprinkler from this and then press so I'm going to do that one at a time so level three just find the sub discipline I have to find the discipline here. So we are in the level three and then go to find the information necessary for what we are looking for. level five yep so basically you take all of this and move it to um, under the sprinkler so I'm going to go to level one and see what is with the uh, level one. So looking at the level one, the template is none. Going to, okay, going to floor plan level three up there. I'm going to find out what are our level three as our default. So just going down under mechanical plan. I don't want this. I go to sprinkler apply and then it goes to level three and then on level four I'm going to again select the sprinkler plan just take that to that level just go to level four take it to a sprinkler plan again that's what I'm going to do with all of the ceiling plan as well and as well with the roof because with the roof also we want to have that all for the for the ceiling plan I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to go to ceiling plan level 2 and then go back and see what is my 
discipline and sub discipline. I'm going to change this to sprinkler apply do the same with the HVAC sprinkler apply level 4 we want to move it to a sprinkler apply and level 5 going to go to sprinkler apply So as you can see, everything is moved to under the sprinkler floor plan in here. Under the 3D model, I also want to, I'm going to double click on this while I have the 3D model um, shown up and the properties shown up, I also want that to go under the sprinkler rather. So basically, you have to do the same thing with all of the elevation as well. I'm going to select all this elevation and see if I can change the elevation sub-discipline also to that. So as you can see, we don't have any HVAC category in here. All we have is mechanical sprinkler. Floor plans, level 1 to roof. Ceiling plan, level 1 to level 5. And same thing with 3D modeling and same thing with the uh, building elevation on four sides. So the other thing is we have to make sure that all of our levels have the same view template because these are need to be consistent with the sprinkler view template that we just created. So if I go in here and look at what is my um, I'm going to go to level one, click on level one, and just go and see what kind of template I do have. I'm going to change this from none into the sprinkler plan. Just changing that. Go to level two. Okay, so basically, this you can do it either one at a time or you can select all of this by holding the, holding the control button and apply the view template that we would like, which is in our case, a sprinkler plan. Okay, so we applied everything in there. Same thing with the ceiling plan because for ceiling plan also we want to apply the sprinkler template. Okay, in here we don't have any sprinkler template yet in the ceiling plan. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go to level one of the ceiling plan first, right click on it. I'm going to put create view template from view. I'm going to put sprinkler ceiling plan. Hit enter. Once this is opened, um, I'm going to go to VG. Basically, I'm going to use the same, uh, you know, customization because I don't want to see any dock work or you can, you know, make a different customization depends on what you want to see in your ceiling plan. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to make any changes. This is kind of similar to a sprinkler view template. So I'm going to keep that the same as it is. Press OK. Uh, same thing with the view range. I don't want to have the view range shown. I'm going to unclick on that and then Press OK. So basically, level one now is ready to go under ceiling plan, uh, you know, template. I'm going to select that, apply, OK. And then basically, I can do that with all of the ceiling plan sprinkler levels. Once I selected everything, I can go to view template edit, and I just select the sprinkler ceiling plan and just apply. Okay, so uh, if you don't want to make any changes or if you don't want to show anything uh, in our specific uh, template, we can either at all time you can go and instead of having the view template, you can go none in here and you can make any changes which is not visible in any of the template that you're using. And on top of that, when you are on the none, 
if we select none here, apply none, you have also the option to make changes to, if I go, okay, if I go to level two, which I have none, I just added to none. You can also make changes to your scale, while this is not possible when you have the view template as your sprinkler ceiling plan or any other uh, view template for that matter. You can't, you can't change that, the scale. If you can see, you can come here and you see that you can't change that. You have to go to view template as none to make that changes. Okay, so basically that's how you have to uh, determine and assign different sub-discipline depending on the type of disciplinary work you're modeling and also how to determine and define view template for a specific type of design and how to adjust the visibility graphics and, and, and this kind of uh, setting before you start uh, modeling a new project. Okay, that's the end of uh, this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please do not forget to subscribe and uh, uh, by pressing a notification button, you will see the other tutorial as soon as they are posted. Thank you.